Welcome to part two of the video, how to solve a double crochet, excuse me, a Sudoku puzzle from the website doublecrossstick.com. We've already worked on filling in numbers according to top, bottom, and central tiers. Now we're going to work across the puzzle first on the three middle sized squares on the left. Uh, it's the same principle as with the tiers before. So in the left hand column we have two threes already in column one, column two. We need a three in column three. The top space is already has a three in that row. The next one, the, the appropriate spot is full, so the three must go at the bottom. Um, is there another, looking at this top, excuse me, at the left hand group of squares, we already have two sevens in column one and column three. We need a seven in column two. That will can't be in the top. There's already a seven there. Can't be in the bottom. There's a six there. So it's got to be in the middle. Now I'm going to finish filling these in quickly. Um, there are two sixes. I can see where the third six has to go. There's now only an eight and nine and a five that aren't taken care of. In the left row, I don't know where any of them go because there aren't two. Looking in the middle group, we have a five that we can place. We have nothing else. There's a single one, two, three, four. No, there were two threes. There were two threes, but this center column has three blank spots. One of them cannot be it. However, either the other two could be it, so we don't know. Looking in this right hand group, we have two sevens, seven in this column, a seven in column seven, seven in column eight, in column nine there's no seven. It's got to be in the bottom spot because the top spot is full and row 5 already has a 7. Okay, that's it. That's all we can do with the first pass of looking at the columns. Next, we're going to look at what can we find that's almost full. Either a small square or a column or a row. We're looking for things that have five or more spots filled in. The, usually the easiest one to look at is the little, the medium sized squares. So this bottom left square has five squares filled in. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. So four, five, one, and two are missing. And we've got to be able to fit them all in. Uh, I can't see anything that tells me where any of them goes. There's two spots blocked to the five, but there's two available. This spot is blocked to five and four, but it could be either one or two. I don't see anything. That's not helping. Okay, now um, looking down the first column, uh, which we looked at before, Six spots are filled. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, so we have a one, a two, and a four, which we need to place. The top one could be, can't be a one, but it could be two or a four. Second one can't be a two, could be one or a four. Third one could be anything. Doesn't help. Okay, what next? Uh, here's another column that has a lot of numbers in it. One, four, three, five, seven. So two, six, eight, and nine are missing. 
this spot can't be a 2, this spot can't be a 6. Um, okay, we know more actually. This, this column needs a 2, but it can't go in anywhere in this box because there's already one. So this, this is not a 2, this is not a 2. This is also not a 2 because there's a 2 to its right. So the only place for the 2 is here. Alright, we still need to put in the 6, the 8, and the 9. Well, the 6 can't go here. The 6 can't go here. So the 6 has to go here. And now it's a matter of the 8 and the 9. This could be 8 or 9. This can't be 9. There's already a 9 there. Okay, that's the end of this column. Whoops, not the 9. The 9 can't go there. It has to be the 8. And the 9 goes here. All right, now that whole column is full, which is great. Uh, let's look at this box, which is almost full. 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9. All right, this row within this box has only one spot. 3. Well, the row above happens to have a 6 in it. We need a 6 in this box. 6 cannot go in either of these spaces, so it's got to go here. Now, the remaining two numbers that we need are 1 and 7, but they can't go in either of these places. I mean, they could, either one could go in either of those places, so we can't do anything. That's about all the logic we normally use. Go to my website and try today's puzzle, which will probably be different than the one we did here. Thanks. Bye.